What's up guys? My name is Steve and this is Sean and together we're Tech Teardown. We're a brand new tech channel where we do tech reviews, PC building, and other types of tech and gaming content. If that's what you look for on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss one of our uploads. Now today in this video I want to just go over with you guys if you were to buy a used graphics card on eBay, what are the first things you should do when you get that in the mail? So what I have here is an R9 380X. So the first thing I do when I get it is I immediately plug it into the computer, download the drivers and see if the graphics card works. And so this one, it boots up and downloaded the drivers and I got into Fortnite and it's playing it really decently. Uh, and then all of a sudden some green artifacts pop up on the screen. So we both tore it apart figure out, try to figure out what's wrong with it. So the thermal paste is all dried up, which explains also it was getting close to thermal throttling just in the menu screen of Fortnite. It was in 70 degrees Celsius. It was climbing pretty high. Yeah, and the fans were ramping up really high. Uh, so we've already taken it apart. We're gonna do it again on camera here and show you exactly uh, what to look for. Uh, when you buy a new graphics card and we're going to then repaste it because we think that is one of the reasons why it's the temperatures are climbing up so quickly on this. Uh, so Sean's going to take it over. He's going to take it apart for you guys and uh, show you what should you look for when you first buy a, a new or used graphics card off of eBay. Do you have anything before we start taking it apart? Well, one thing I like to always do, obviously it's a used card. You want to get some uh, canned air or compressed air of some sort. You want to clean all the dust out. This is our compressed air right here. So we're going to clean it out. And then we're going to take it apart, put some new thermal paste. It's pretty common for a card that's a couple years old to have the stock thermal paste to dry up. So not only that, we're going to show you some little, you know, surprises we found on this card when we bought it. So we'll get to uh, taking it apart. All right, let's get started. Okay, we tore down the card, we cleaned it as best we could, and we put some thermal paste on. And remember I told you guys about that surprise? Well, this is what I think, what we got going on here. Okay, so if you look at this memory chip, you can see this black stuff around that almost looks like, I don't know, what would you say? Uh, this is actually resin. This is BGA work. This card pro probably got reballed, and you can actually feel the balls right here, the little lead balls. And the reason why I know this isn't normal, first of all, I've seen how this is done before, and second of all, if you look at the other chips, you notice how you don't have the black lining on there? Somebody definitely did some reball work, and you can even see it on the GPU over here. Now, I don't know this card a whole lot, but I thought it was kind of strange that there was no active memory cooling like the other one I took apart on the last video. And there was no, there's active VMR cooling right here. But if you take a look, yeah, there was definitely BGA work done on this. Now, personally, I try to stay away from these type of cards, but these are things you want to look at when you're purchasing used cards because a lot of people will uh, they have the equipment and tools will buy these cards up that are bad and they will reball them and then sell them as brand new used. And now I don't know if that's the reason why uh, Steven was getting the artifacts but as you see we put our thermal paste on and now we're going to put it all back together and we'll see we'll see how it goes. All right let's get to it.
All right, so we kicked on Fortnite here. Uh, died pretty quickly, but I just let it play through. We haven't gotten any artifacts anymore. It was just like a flickering of a green screen that just shot through. Uh, so our original thoughts was that it was a, a memory problem on the graphics card. Uh, but after we tore it apart, we noticed that all the thermal paste was crusty and old. Uh, we also thought that there might have been some BGA work. Uh, we were technically right, but Sean's going to go into more detail about that. Actually, after more uh, research, that's the way it's supposed to be. It looks like they took the 8 gig cards and reworked them to be 4 gig and sold them that way. So there was BGA rework, but it wasn't done in a crusty old shop out in the middle of nowhere. It was done professionally in a factory, and it's the way it should be, so I apologize for that, but... And that's something Power Color did, right? Yeah, Power Color, they did in their factory, so... But our temperatures are a lot better, and the artifact was due to temperature increase due to old thermal paste. Let's see, what are we running at? 51, is it? 57. My guess was it would be 20C lower, and I was pretty much spot on. Probably after an hour of playing, it'll probably be at 64 Celsius. I brought up some things to Steve. I have a water block sitting around, and since I at Tech Teardown, we like to overclock things and push them to the limit and have fun. On another video, I might uh, throw some water cooling on this and see how far we can push it. Why not? Sounds like fun. Yeah, just some power mods, maybe. See what we could do. I mean, is we got this for relatively cheap on eBay. 50 bucks for R9380X. Um, so if we kill it, yeah, but who cares? So just that thermal paste, uh, we, you see after we've been playing for quite a while now, uh, we're down to 57 degrees where as soon as we loaded into the Fortnite menu, it shot up to 70 degrees Celsius and, yeah. and kept climbing. And the fan was on like a hair dryer to keep up with that. So the thermal transfer was not good due to the thermal paste being dried out and crusty. Yeah, so I mean, that's what you're going to get when you buy old cars on eBay. So that's what this video is about is when you first buy a used graphics card on eBay, these are the things that you are going to want to do uh, when you first get it. Plug it into your computer, make sure that, it, that it's gonna boot up. And then uh, once you know that it is gonna boot up, then you take it apart, change the thermal paste on it, and check to make sure no one did any crazy rework on it. No shenanigans, we like to say. Right. Uh, do you have anything else to say about this card? Um, not a whole lot. Um, I was actually kind of out of the PC gaming scene when these cards hit, but I did own one at one time. But I'm, you know, it's 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 definitely power power hungry. The minimum requirements for power for this card is 750 watts, which is quite a bit. So, yeah, that is a lot. Yeah, 28 nanometer process. We're already seeing cards at seven nanometer in 2019. So, but for 50 bucks, I mean, you really can't complain. Yeah, we're getting on epic settings right now, 50 degrees uh, Celsius or 50. 50 FPS uh, average uh, on epic settings, 1080p uh, right now. Uh, so lowering it down to high settings, we could probably get over that 60 FPS mark. I'd like to say too that it is a very high TDP card because uh, you know a 2013 card at this type of uh, power output is definitely going to keep your uh, bedroom warm in the winter. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. All right. Uh, anything else? Nope, I'm, I think that's it. All right, guys. Well, I uh, thank you very much for watching all the way through this. Uh, sorry we gave you incorrect information here in the beginning, uh, but we did uh, re do some more research and we corrected ourselves. Uh, but hopefully this helps you when you uh, make a used graphics card purchase. Uh, but if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button and the bell. And we'll see you guys in the next video.